Hey Simmers, it's Sims Free Play Design Heaven here. I am going to do another house tour today, so another visual tour. This is of this house here, so it's my wizard cottage. So when they did the wizard update, like ages ago, it would have been probably like maybe a year ago, um, I designed this house here um, for a wizard. So I it actually worked out perfectly that the castle ended up being behind it because it's sort of like a mystical land over this side of the mysterious island, just, you know, behind the volcano, so it's almost hidden. I am making a video of this house because I have actually decided I am going to demolish it. I'm running out of lots and as much as I love the fact that I have a little cottage and I think it is just really cute that it is a little cottage here, I just think it's too big a lot for me to waste on such a small house and I might be, I'm just a little bit over it I think. <laughs> I, I never visit it, visit it and I want to do an inn or a hotel so I'm going to um, design one of those on this block once I'm done with this video. So I thought I'd make this video so you guys can see the house and if you wanted to do a little wizard um, cottage it's, it's so cute and I had so much fun um, designing this one. Basically what I did with the trees is I wanted it to be like in the middle of the forest. So that's why I've done all the trees around. So it looks like with the roof on, it's sort of hidden um, in a little sort of Disney-like forest. And that's why there's little, you know, um, you know, sort of wild flowers all around the garden. And they've got a little bunny in the background, back there, backyard. And um, a few of the, the nice pink trees and the orange trees as well. So the idea was that it, it kind of wanted to feel a little bit Disney about it. Sort of like, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the Disney movie, The Sword and the Stone, but I kind of had the idea of, of um, <clears throat> the wizard's house there being sort of the inspiration, very loosely the inspiration behind this, this house here. So I have, the first thing you walk into is sort of like just the wizardy, quarters where he has his little kitchenette there and um, he's got his dining room table and then he's got his relaxing area as well so it's sort of like a lounge room dining and kitchen all in one one area so it's, it's sort of like com combination living um he's got uh the the broom there the magical broom as well and obviously the magical bookcase which is really awesome um so that's where he does probably most of his living then if you go through the back here this is actually looking at it this is one of my earlier designs my very very earlier design so there's two bathrooms obviously because I had no idea what to do with the second room so I decided just to do two bathrooms I should probably revisit this idea of doing um, a wizard cottage again now that I'm a little bit more of a seasoned um, you know builder I guess on, on Sims free play but th these are the two bathrooms so one was just a generic shower bathroom and, ba and toilet and then the other one is probably to have a soak in the bath um, then we go through into um, his bedroom. So he's got a nice lavish bedroom with the Japanese style bed there. And then if you go all the way back there, oh, that guitar shouldn't be there. Oh, hang on. Let's take the guitar out. That's not cool. So we will, I put the guitar in there because, so I'll really quickly say this because this is going to be a short video. If you want to build up your XP um, for your Sims, once you hit uh, level 26 and you're past the life, life dreams and legacies quest, your Sims can become a different sort of, uh, you know, you pick which type of Sim your, your Sim is going to be. So what sort of like lifestyle they're going to live. If you choose the entertainer um, lifestyle, then what you can do is, is buy the guitar and if you have them play the guitars every three hours it actually gives you a heap of XP and it means that you can sort of like skip through levels very very quickly I think it's something like almost 2,000 XP for just three hours which is so unheard of if you look at all the XP for the other um for the other activities that's just it's so crazy so I had guitars in every single one of my houses so that every single sim was working towards getting me up to level 55 which is what I'm on now so it really did work it really worked for me and then you can see at the end of the hallway it looks like there's just a, a bookshelf there but it's actually his secret magical room so he's got the broom the broomstick closet where he can go and flight he's got the owl and he's got the magic stand so which leads out to the backyard which is kind of just the cutesy backyard again so that's the the wizard cottage did really love this house like it is it is absolutely gorgeous and I'm sad that I'm going to be um to demolishing it so I'll take a lot of photos I'll put a few on a few on Instagram just in case I want to recreate it again 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think I should have done differently with this house because it was one of my earlier ones. So I'm sure you guys have awesome ideas of how I could change it. Um, and, uh, and subscribe to my page. Thumbs up. Comment if you like. Oh, I've already said that. And, um, and yeah, find me on Instagram. My Instagram is at simsfreeplay underscore design heaven. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.